China has been working on developing laser-based air defense systems for several years and has made significant strides in the quest. A massive shipborne laser air defense system by China outed as the world's most powerful laser-based air defense system. Moreover, it offers a near-infinite magazine as long as power is available. Laser weapons are now occupying a substantial space in defense plans across the globe by providing an economical and effective substitute for missile interceptors. Lasers are particularly useful against unmanned aerial vehicles, because their concentrated laser beams can rapidly heat a drone's body. This can result in the drone's structural failure, leading to the burning off of one of the wings on a fixed-wing drone. Laser weapons typically enhance naval defense against anti-ship missiles, small boats, and unmanned aerial vehicles at sea. Using these weapons significantly lowers the number of casualties because, unlike kinetic weapons, there is no momentum transfer, shock wave, or high-velocity fragments. Moreover, a high-energy laser beam's instantaneous time of flight prevents the target from making the first strike. Asian military powers such as the Republic of Korea and India have also developed their own laser weapons. South Korea's Star Wars project aims to transform defense capabilities with laser weapons designed to neutralize drones and missiles. In February this year, the USS Preble, which is the first warship to be equipped with this system, successfully test-fired its high-energy laser weapon system against a drone. Some observers said that the Chinese LY-1 is likely very similar to the laser weapon programs pursued by the US, such as the Helios. China officially debuted the LY-1 at the V-Day Parade on September 3. Helios is a 60-kilowatt class laser. Developed by Lockheed Martin, it is a large, stationary energy-producing apparatus with a directed energy array mounted on top. The system produces a lot of energy to excite photons, which are then focused on a particular target likely a drone or a missile. This causes a concentrated area of that target to heat up until it combusts. With directed energy weapons taking center stage, the United Kingdom has also developed a laser weapon named Dragonfire Laser Directed Energy Weapon for installation aboard its warships. It is a 50-kilowatt class laser-directed energy weapon designed to counter drones, missiles, and mortar rounds with high precision and low cost per shot. The system includes an electro-optical camera and a secondary lower-power laser for target acquisition and tracking, mounted on a turret for precise aiming. The Dragonfire weapon is accurate enough to strike a one-pound coin from a distance of one kilometer, and the cost of operating the laser is typically less than 10 pounds per shot. Israel, on the other hand, has developed the Iron Beam, which is a 100 to 150 kilowatt solid-state fiber laser system, capable of focusing a beam to the diameter of a coin at 10 kilometers. It integrates with Iron Dome, using artificial intelligence to decide whether a laser or missile interceptor is best suited for a threat. It is designed to complement Israel's multi-layered missile defense network by providing a cost-effective solution to intercept threats like rockets, drones, and anti-tank missiles. European countries like France also remain invested in developing laser weapons. Russia has also developed multiple laser weapons that remain classified so far. This includes Perez Vet and Zadira. On the other hand, Zadira is an advanced laser weapon system designed for thermal destruction of targets, particularly drones, rather than just dazzling. Its power is believed to be in the 50 to 100 kilowatt range. China officially debuted the LY-1, a massive shipborne laser air defense system, a high-power directed energy weapon developed by China. The LY-1 is primarily designed for use aboard the People's Liberation Army Navy warships and, perhaps, its aircraft carriers. In naval configurations, it may include a retractable protective dome to shield the system when not in use, similar to prototypes tested on U.S. Navy ships. Chinese experts believe that the development of shipborne laser weapons will fundamentally alter the rules of maritime warfare since they can successfully target the optical sensors of adversary weapons and equipment. China's Victory Day Parade was an enthralling display of several cutting-edge weapon systems developed by the country as part of an extensive military modernization drive. Among them was the LY-1, touted as the world's most powerful laser-based air defense system. 
A high-power directed energy weapon developed by China, the LY-1 is primarily designed for use aboard the People's Liberation Army Navy warships and, perhaps, its aircraft carriers. However, as seen in the parade, the LY-1 features a turret-mounted design, which means that it could be adapted for ground use. China has so far released no information about the power of this laser air defense system. While the details about this system remain shrouded in secrecy, it appears to have a large central circular aperture that serves as the beam director for emitting the laser. It also has multiple smaller circular apertures around it, likely meant for electro-optical and infrared sensors used in target acquisition, tracking, and aiming. Additionally, it features a box-like structure on one side of the turret, possibly housing additional sensors such as radar or passive radio frequency detectors. In naval configurations, it may include a retractable protective dome to shield the system when not in use, similar to prototypes tested on U.S. Navy ships. As a type of laser weapon, the LY-1 can also effectively avoid the problem of time lag between the target lock-on of shipborne fire control radar and the actual firing of traditional air defense weapons. It also effectively avoids the problem of a large dispersion ratio of traditional shipborne closing guns, the LY-1 can accomplish aiming equals locking on, firing equals hitting, with very high interception accuracy. The LY-1 has sufficient space for power units, meaning that it could have higher power, allowing it to intercept not only unmanned systems but also anti-ship missiles, with very low cost for each interception. This design would likely allow rugged deployment in combat environments, including at sea. It also suggests mobility, potentially enabling engagements while on the move in land-based setups. The overall size indicates a high power output, distinguishing it from lower power dazzling lasers that China has extensively deployed. Several PLA analysts noted that the debut of the system at the parade meant that it had already entered service or is about to be inducted soon. More importantly, though, a laser weapon was spotted on China's Type 071 amphibious assault ship in August 2024. At the time, a dedicated PLA watcher told Eurasian Times that it seemed that the weapon was in the late stages of testing out on the ship. Many observers believe that the LY-1 has eerie similarities with that weapon.